Today, family, it's kind of weird being on a different day. Um, thank you, Janie, for reminding me. Um, I wanted to talk about two things. Uh, the first one had to deal with something that I posted on Facebook. I think it was Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, and I had a picture of a woman's face going through like a deep blue violet veil, and I had mentioned the happiness of. Uh, frailty or fragility and vulnerability and I think that sadness is really underrated and I think that sadness or for me I like to use the word melancholy when I'm sad and thinking and pensive was something that was considered a good thing it was considered allowing mystery to come into your life and taking time to just be in the moment and absorb your feelings and then sometime in the 19th century a psychiatrist said that melancholy was a form of depression for women and that it should be treated and unfortunately ever since that time I think I, you know, sadness and melancholy has definitely been underrated. And that is not to say if you are experiencing long sadness or depression that, you know, that's a good thing. Obviously, I think it's great to, to seek help. But I'm talking about <clears throat> those moments in a day where you just feel unknowable. And you don't know if it's sadness but you do know that there's something wanting to come out of you, something that you're not expressing. And I don't think it's something necessarily that needs to be expressed to another person. I just think it's when we need to have space to feel ourselves without reacting, without having any emotions. Because when I experience melancholy, you know, sometimes I want to get busy or I want to, oh, I had to read something to get positive. But um, this time it was just saying, be with this. And I was with it and a couple of thoughts came to mind. The first one, um, over the holiday I was with my family and I'm from a huge family. So even though I have a room, it's really not my room. I, I really have no private space whatsoever when I visit my family, which is fine because there's so many of us and I'm trying to see so many people in a short period of time. And I'm thinking, oh man, I can't wait till I get home. And then when I get home, I have all the space in the world. And I'm thinking, oh, where's my family? So I was feeling a little melancholy about that. But there was something else that was going on. And I couldn't put my finger on it. So I just kind of sat with it. And I allowed myself to feel down. And what it was, it came out. On um, the day that I was leaving to go out of town, I had to return books to the library because I give them... I don't know what that was, but I give them uh, enough money and fines to support the whole library system. But um, I was trying to avoid fines, so I was dropping off the books. And the entranceway, the street in front of the library was blocked off. And I saw a motorcycle, and on top of the motorcycle was a bike, and it was they were flipped over on the street. And the first thought that came to mind was, wow, that was probably a comedy. I mean, how often do you see a, a motorcycle and a bike you know, hit each other. And I thought, I wonder what they're thinking. Are they probably in the hospital laughing about their scrapes and bruises and stuff like that? So I didn't think anything else of it. And then uh, Sunday, I went online to see what other books were due. And uh, there was a post that the librarian, her name was Gigi. Um, she had worked in the library for a long time, ever since I've been in, um, in Evanston. And uh, she worked in the children's section. Well, she died. From that accident and in all my busyness I did not have a time to mourn that loss we weren't really close I mean I knew her as a librarian but it was a loss of life and my my mind and my soul and my spirit just wanted me to take time in my melancholy to remember her I still can't believe that she passed away. They have a memorial at the library. And I think we need this. I think there are moments in our lives we're going so fast that we don't allow moments of sadness or melancholy, and they build up. 
And then we're next thing you know, we're having these moments where we just can't cope. So that was the first thing I wanted to um, share. I know it's kind of awkward, but, you know, maybe we need to spend some time definitely just being still and, and absorbing what's happening around us. And then the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, uh, Jane had um, posted, uh, Facebook is annoying, had posted um, something yesterday, which would be, or today, which is Thursday, talking about there are some things in life we wish we had never done. And then the sentence that I was uh, reflecting on was never, ever second guess who you are, where you have been, and most importantly, where it is you're going. And that really stuck with me because I second guess, I had been in the habit of second guessing what I should do, how um, how I relate to other people. And these past two years, I've been coming out of that slowly. And so I had you know posted that I'm really just now starting to understand that, that who I am is a, is a culmination and a creation of everything that I've been and will ever be. And that I am enough and my enoughness and my love and my spirit and my essence, I share that with other people. And it's just, I can kid you not, it's just amazing. I'm at this point in my life where, yes, I think about myself, probably too much. But I also realize how life is so connected. And we have to hang on to those connections, even if it's just yesterday I was listening to people play piano in the park and there was this dog just staring at me for whatever reason. And when I went to go, you know, go pet him, he growled and I walked away and he came after me and I went to go pet him and he growled. I don't know. Somehow we made a connection. I don't know. But it's just those things in life that are just so, there aren't words for the soul making. We haven't developed vocabulary for that yet. So I guess what I want to say is I'm at the point in my life where my soul, I feel it. And I'm starting to feel the souls of others. And this project of soul making, uh, I want it to last my entire life. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.